What up guys, it's your girl Jay here and I am back for another video and that's right if you can tell by the title down below. It is a two year surgery update. Well more like a two year and almost one month surgery date because my surgery date was to date June 3rd 2015 and it's just it's been two years that I've since I decided to change my life for the better. Yeah, my surgery date was June 3rd, 2015, and it has been the most mentally, physically, emotionally draining experience of my life. Um, Weight loss surgery, I knew it wasn't going to be easy, but I knew it wasn't going to be so mentally, like, like such a mind F for me because I'm a Pisces and I go off of emotions anyway. So I'm, I'm a water sign, so everything with me is a literal wave of emotions like today. I just wasn't mentally there today, this morning. And and then like around noonish, I was I wanted to cry for some reason. And like I was trying so hard not to cry at my desk, but tears started to come out a little bit. But then I felt a little happy. Like I like I am such a Pisces when it comes to emotions. It is just crazy. But um, yeah, surgery has been a lifesaver for me. It also has been an eye opener for me. It also has been a revelation for me. And it has been, uh, it has been a complete mind F for me of, I, again, I do everything myself. I don't have any help with my family, with my mom and my brother. Um, I, I am trying to make changes again, but I keep effing up. I think when I say I don't want any carbs, does that include like a banana? Does that include a banana chocolate chip muffin? Like I just had to like between like six o'clock and like just 20 minutes ago. So it's like, I don't know. But um, yeah, I don't eat bread, <laughs> if that's anything. I don't eat bread, I don't eat rice. Now, like I started on Saturday with no bread, no rice, no pasta, um, no potatoes. Um, I'm trying to cut down on the carbs. And I think the carb is a muffin but again it's something sweet and I do have a sweet fixation like I need something sweet and I need to get sugar-free candy so I gotta be on the lookout for sugar-free candy even though sugar-free candy is not I don't think it's sweet but whatever but um yeah everything is like I started I start off good but then I end up messing up and it's just like an over and over again experience and I just don't I, I don't know exactly what I don't know how to explain a lot of this because a lot of it is it is me I know a lot of it is my doing and my fault I haven't gained any of the 130 pounds that I've lost but I am just stuck in the 308 the 310 the 36 306, 30, I'm all I'm stuck between that and it's really really pissing me off that I don't can't get out of the 300s. I was out of the 300s once. And that's when I did no food, only vegetables and protein drinks for 2 weeks when I did a pouch pouch reset. I did lose 10 pounds within those two weeks but as soon as I started eating food again like real food again I did gain some of that back the lowest weight I I I, I, I had in an update where I lost the 10 pounds but then I gained the 10 pounds back once I started eating food 
So it's like, I can't not eat food. You know what I mean? But two years, 130 something pounds. I'm, I'm fluctuating between, I'm, I don't know exactly what size I am because of the arm flab. Like I've, I've shown y'all this plenty of times on my, here on my channel, but I have all of this and it looks ashy in video, but I have all of that. Um, and I shave. So, <laughs> and I have stomach and I have stomach, um, Still have a bunch of stomach fat to get rid of. I have thigh fat to get rid of. It's just so much. I don't know what size shirt I could wear. I, I, I buy a 2X, but I can. I probably can fit into an extra large top. But the arms. The arms make it impossible, so I go with the 2X. Pant, on the other hand, I think is a 2X because I'm very hippie. And I, I have wide hips. And I have big thighs, so I still have to go with the larger size. But it is smaller than what I used to be. I can shop in regular stores like Kmart and stuff like that. And Old Navy and H&M. Wait, no, I never shopped at H&M before. But I could shop at Kmart and Old Navy and stuff for clothes. Um, and I'm so excited for that. Um, but... I want more, you know what I mean? I, I canceled my subscription to Blink because I went hard body the year I went, I had surgery and I went hard body at the beginning to the middle of the year, but then I just, I didn't feel motivated anymore. And I didn't, and I, I couldn't do it by myself anymore. And I just wanted somebody to come work out with me. I don't want to hire a trainer. I, I don't, I don't want to pay somebody to, te to, to, to give me exercises that I could find out for free myself, you know what I mean? I just want a workout buddy that is willing to weight train with me. And a lot of these men out here, they don't want a workout buddy. They want you to pay them so they can train you, you know what I mean? Like, they wanna be, they wanna be a personal trainer so badly, but it's like, if they were with their homeboy, they willing to work out perfectly fine but if it's like what a woman like me they would want oh I could be a trainer no I don't want a trainer I asked for a workout partner so we could work out together I need the motive like I want motivation and people's always going to say you got to motivate yourself <sighs> easier said than done but if you had a workout buddy which has been proven to help you be motivated more, I would love it. But it's hard because I have this part, I have this temporary job where it's like 8.30 to five, but now I'm gonna be doing 8.30 to three. I can go to the gym, but again, I would have, I, I'm thinking about rejoining Planet Fitness. This will be the third time. <sighs> Planet Fitness. Um, <laughs> this will be the third time and I just want to win in the end, you know? I want to be healthier. I'm already healthier already because I before surgery, I was pre-diabetic. But now I am pre-diabetic free. So there is no more threat of getting diabetes for me, which is amazeballs. Again, I told you earlier, before I told you in previous videos before that I used to be on three blood pressure medicines. Now I am on one and my blood pressure is controlled very well with that. Um, I walk upstairs without having an asthma attack all the time. Um, I get to be more active and I get to fit in places that I never fit before on the train. If there's a smaller seat, I can sit my fat ass, my skinny fat ass there. Um, granted my hips spread when I sit because I am, I, I do have a lot of hips. It's, it just runs in my family. Big butt, big boobs, and big hips. That's just us. But, um, my quality of life and living has been so much better since I've had this surgery. And I would do it again if I had to because... It is my life that I have to live. 
and being super morbidly obese at 436 pounds was not the business. It really wasn't. Like, again, people can say, oh, you were perfectly the way, you were perfectly fine the way you are. F that and F you because you don't care about my life. You really don't if you think I'm fine the way I am. Because I'm 436 pounds is not fine. That is a heart attack waiting to happen. That is a stroke waiting to happen. That is death waiting to happen. And that is what you should tell people every time they have to say, every time they want to come out of their face so about, you're fine the way you are. You pretty the way you are. Um, you don't need weight loss surgery. You just need to exercise and eat right. Tell them the fuck off. And I don't curse much. And y'all know I don't curse much. But tell these people to go fuck yourself. Point blank in a period. Or how about this? Next time they say you find the way you are or you don't need to lose weight or all you have to do is exercise and eat right, just start doing this. And when they start asking what you're looking, what you're looking around for, simply say this. I'm looking for when I ask for your opinion, because I don't think I did. And then they'll shut up right then and there. You didn't ask for their opinion. You didn't ask for them to come out of their face with some disrespect. You doing this for you. That's right, I'm pointing at you. You're doing this surgery for you, for a betterment of your life. You don't want to be in a coffin where your family has to cry over your body saying if she would have just, if he or she would have just changed her life. And I am so happy that I've had this surgery. And I am so glad that I am able to motivate some of you guys. I love to work out when I do. I love to play sports. And I played sports when I was big. I can care less what anybody said about me. About, like, like I don't care. I'm doing me. I'm doing what makes me happy. I'm doing what makes Jay happy. Fuck that. I'm doing what makes Janae happy. Janae is happy playing sports. Janae is happy being the big girl cheerleader. Janae is happy playing softball. Janae is happy playing volleyball. Janae is happy doing this and doing that, doing makeup, doing this, talking to you about weight loss surgery. Janae loves to do all of that. So Janae is going to do that. And the fact that I am here to motivate you guys and give you the 411 and the real tea on weight loss surgery and stuff like that and my experiences of what I go through and what to tell other people I'm like so ecstatic that I can do that for you guys because it just shows that I am not the only one out there I did so many topics right now and I just wanted to do a two-year anniversary like update um stop comparing yourself to other people and I have to remind this remind myself this my damn self. I have to stop following other people. And I've said this in another video before where like I broke down where I started to cry. Um, don't compare yourself to other people. And I kind of stopped doing that. And I really am glad I did. Because again, as a Pisces and I had that roller coaster of emotion stuff, I am very, I think in my mind all the time. And when I keep comparing myself to other people, it plays with my emotion. It plays with my emotions. It plays with my mind, and it gives me a headache when I do, because my mind is constantly keep thinking, "Why can't that be me?" This, that, and the third, and I can't keep doing that. So I'm trying to stop doing that of comparing myself to other people, and I'm not going to do that anymore. Don't compare yourself to other people because other people is following their own journey. They're in their own lane. Everybody has their own lane in life, and you have to follow what's best for you. So that is what I'm doing. I am doing what's best for Janae. So, yeah, that is it. Two years surge anniversary update. I am at the study 3.0 whatever, like the 310, 308, 306, the same 30s. <sighs> it is so exhausting that I can't get out of that. But I'm I, I'm trying, but I'm not trying. It's just, again, I'm... Roller coaster. Roller coaster of I just don't know what. I just don't know. But I'm gonna try to figure it out and I have to join Planet Fitness again for the third time. 
But yeah, guys, that is it. Um, I want to let you guys know to always do what's best for you. Always follow your own mind and your own heart and your own spirit. That's why I always say at the end, be blessed and be safe. And, and like, be blessed. Like, everybody in life is blessed. You're blessed to live another day. So continue to be blessed, all right? Guys, I have a giveaway going on here on my channel. If you don't know, I am giving away two bags of makeup. I know a lot of you guys are probably not into makeup. A lot of you guys are men and y'all don't do makeup, but maybe y'all can win this for your girlfriends or your wife. But I am giving away two bags. It's a bag of like brushes, some makeup, a mascara, uh, uh, eye sharpener pencil and everything. But I really want to give these away and this contest has been going on for a month. And I've extended this contest for a week. So July 8th is the very last day of this contest. And I really want you guys to enter this contest. And all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, which there is a red button right down there that says subscribe, which you watch my videos, guys. So how come you're not subscribed yet? What do a girl have to do? Do I have to show you that I'm still flexible? I am still flexible. I could do some splits. I just got to stretch. I got to stretch like my life depends on it. But um, yeah, all you have to be is subscribe to this channel and also be a follower on my Instagram channel. And you're entered in a chance to win one of these two makeup bags that I have. And all the description and all the description, all the rules will be in the description box down below. And hit that notification button so you can be part of the J Squad. And also like up this video if you like my inspirational videos and if you really understood what I was trying to say with this two year anniversary update. Um, I will keep you guys updated on everything that evolves me in weight loss surgery. Hopefully in September it won't be a decision to be re-sleeved or sleeved to bypass. Because I really don't want to do any of it. Whatever. If that's the final, final, last um, step for me to actually be healthy, then F it. I'm going to have to take it. Because, but I can't just give up as yet. I have to keep going. So, yeah, guys. I'm going to leave it right there. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, to, so you can get more videos. Hit that notification button so you can be part of the J Squad like up this video and comment down below of anything that you feel like saying or that you have on your that you have on your heart that you want to say all right and i'm going to leave some related videos of all my weight loss related stuff right here and right here right there and right there and oh in the bicep look at that <laughs> well take it to my gun show bam bam <laughs> but a ring thing right there and a thing right there and like always, guys, be blessed, be safe, and have a good evening. Later, guys.